connection to everything Apple. With this episode, I want to share with you a new feature that comes with iOS 6. You can actually use your iPad as a kiosk. Now, in the past, when you use your iPad that way, you would have to use a third-party application like Kiosk Pro or something like that. Basically, what you need to be able to do is take a single application and lock it down so that you cannot escape by hitting the home button. Well, to my surprise, and I discovered this totally by accident, that this feature is now built into iOS 6 when using both the iPad and iPhone. So again, essentially what you can do is open any application and lock that application down so you cannot escape from it until you enter a passcode. I'm going to show you how that's set up. First you want to do is go into System Preferences. And you want to scroll down to Accessibility. When you, set, when you choose Accessibility, you want to scroll down to Guided Access. And if, guide ac if Guided Access is off, you want to turn it on. Then go ahead and set a passcode. In this case, I'm just going to do a straightforward 111, 111 again. Okay, my passcode is now set. Next thing you want to do is open the application that you want to lock down on your iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and open Infinity Blade. Now to begin the process of locking down the application, you have to tap on the home button three times. One, two, three. And all of a sudden you'll get this menu of options. And you'll see I actually have already done this. I'm going to delete this and start over again. Basically what you can do is, depending on how many buttons are available to the user that can enable them to escape, you can choose, you can choose to disable those buttons. So there is a button at the center, top center of this application that I want to disable. And you do that by simply taking your finger and drawing a circle around that area. That circle will essentially disable that area as an active link. And that's the only thing I think I need to do for this application. There are some applications that have more than one area and you'll just repeat the same process accordingly. When you're done, you click start. And as you can see, guided access has started. So now I can proceed by playing Infinity Blade without having to escape from the iPad. It's really that simple. Now if I was to try and escape, I hit the home button. And you notice, guided access is enabled. You can't do anything else. Try it again. One more time, I get the pop-up message, but I'm then instructed to triple click on the home button to escape. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. One, two, three. And now you see I'm prompted to enter my passcode. And now I can either resume or end my session. In this case, I'm going to end it. Guided access has ended, and now I can use the home button to escape. It's really that simple. It's a cool feature that's now, that now comes with iOS 6. I hope that was a nice feature that was worth sharing with you today. Thanks for tuning in to my Apple Podcast. My name is Tim. Check me out next time.